This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Taking it easy, Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance, Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Veterans Help Foundation, Relief Windows, Experience, Quality, Service, Catering Cajun, Creative Catering from Casual to Corporate, Visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience, Murphy Law Firm, Don't Be a Victim Twice, and by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Welcome to the 838th edition of Paradise, Louisiana. Here we are at Sabir Bait and Tackle on Segan Lane. My guest, Derek Hudnall. He is the news. He is the news. Derek, I've been knowing you since you used to jump in your daddy's boat when we come in from fishing, and that's a long time ago. I don't even say it. I, mean, well, I don't care if we were fishing the Amy River, the Spillway, as soon yes, as we sir. pulled up. Your daddy and them, Alpha O'Neill, you, there you were. You were coming in there and jump in that boat and play with the fish. Now you fulfilled a dream. I did. And we're going <clears> to <throat> talk about it. The most of the news is all about Derek and Mr. Caleb Summerall, mm -hmm. two local guys that did well at the, mm -hmm. at the Open. Now, mm -hmm. when we come back, uh -huh. what's the most exciting thing that happened this past week, though? Oh, man, fulfilling a dream. Uh, you know, the first one was to qualify for the Bassmasters Elite Series, and I did that about three weeks ago. And Bassmasters changed their format this year um, to where they put an Opens Championship, where it put the top ten from each of the Opens division together to really duke it out for those final points. And the top three in points get an invitation to the Bassmasters Classic. And guess what? I did it. Come in third oh, on the man. last day. God bless you. Look, still exhaling. That's the that's the crust of our show this week. We got a lot coming up. I made a bunch of trips and went to the CCA Star Banquet. Uh, Chris, our producer, was there, and we got some interviews coming from there and all the winners. Uh, I also made a quick trip at the LSU DU Banquet, and uh, we talked to some of those students that put this on. You know, DU students to universities, they got their own branches. I, I've been to Southeastern, I've been to Nichols, and, and now LSU, LSU's been on a while. So they do a great job, had a big crowd. We got some tournament, Rodeo Report, Southwest, Junior Bassmasters with Toledo Bend two days. Uh, Try to get a fish report out of you, but he he been up in Table Rock and all those other places fishing. I don't know what we're going to get, but we're going to find out the story, and we're going to find out more about Derek Hudnall. It's a long opening, and I thank somebody for I forget, T. Evans Marina down in Dulac. He, he sent me these. You know, I get a bunch of these, but what I like most about John Bernard and y'all, y'all keep sending me a fishing report and letting us know what's going on. Thank you. We'll be right back. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana, Bassmaster Classic Qualifier, Derek Hudnall. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana, voted best of Louisiana outdoors three years in a row. Ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what our goal was to give a quality job to a homeowner. Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy planker siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. We're gonna show up on time, we're gonna do the job right. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. We believe you deserve a quality job. Well, the reason why I would recommend him because he's trustworthy. And I mean, attention 
and love and respect of who you are, what you are, and the purpose why you came, he honors that. Once you're with Murphy, you got a friend. Benny's Unlimited Wash Club memberships start at $14.99 a month. Wash, rinse, and repeat every day. Join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club at one of Benny's seven locations. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Derek Hudnall. Yes, sir. You know, before we get started, I know the Bassmaster, the ultimate dream of coming true, the Elite Series, the Bassmaster Classic, all these tournaments you've been fishing, you and all the other local guys, you, you might be the, well, I don't know, about the fifth or sixth person I know locally that went through the process, mm -hmm. especially from Louisiana, and gonna fish the Classic. But tell us a little bit about Derek Cudnall, where you was raised and who got you started in fishing and when you start fishing tournaments, how old you were? Oh man, that's been a long time ago. Of course, m most people here in South Louisiana know my dad, Roger, and, I'm, I'm, and you've known him a long time too. And uh, man, he was one of the big sticks in South Louisiana. You know, he was, you know, himself and Bill England, you know, before rest his soul, he passed away. Uh, were widely known as two of the best anglers down here in South Louisiana. So I kind of grew up in it, so I was a bit biased. And uh, man, I fished co-angler through the BFLs with him coming up when I was uh, a teenager into my early 20s. And uh, you know, started fishing professionally in bass tournaments here locally when I got into my early to mid 20s. And uh, man, I went through a pretty rough divorce, um, you know, that 2010 range. and. Uh, you know, I went through a, I went through a hard time. I, I I had to sell my boat. I lost my boat, and I didn't fish for like four years, Gary. And it was always a dream of mine. And I met my wife six years ago, and one of the first things she told me is she could see the passion inside of me for what I'm doing now. And she's like, Derek, you're going to do that again. You know, it, it's going to happen again. And you know, without the support of my family, my wife, my kids, my and family. Great, yeah and the good Lord upstairs. Um, it's, it, you know, and about three years ago, I took the leap and said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it all I got. You know, I started doing it full time. Um, I had to really focus on growing the business side of it. You know, so a lot of my partners that you see here that we'll talk about in a minute um, are the reason why I can do what I do. You know, I started really focusing on the business side. I made the leap. I have a full wrap of my boat and truck and I really started showing partners value in what I do and in myself. And so I made the leap, it's you know. It's still a tough one. It is. It absolutely is. And, and actually, you it's know. It's hard to make a lot of money. That's right. If very and few people do. That's right. And the Bassmasters Elite Series is, is the only one that you really have to qualify to fish those. And that's what I've been trying to do for three years. I've fished all three divisions the last two years to really get me experience this, in places this like all New York. Right now. Even though I knew I probably wouldn't compete at the top on the Easterns and fishing those Northern Lakes like in New York and stuff, that was going to give me invaluable experience for when I do qualify for the Elite Series. Because the last thing I want to do is get in the Elite Series and then uh, only be there two years and then have to get kicked out because of points. So I think that's going to that's gonna really help me. But finally did it this year in the Centrals. I had a great year. I had, I think I finished 32nd at Ross Barnett in the first one. I finished third at the Arkansas River, 18th at Red River, and then uh, Logan Martin was 41st. That was my worst finish this year. And so this year with the championship getting in, Table Rock Lake in the fall. We fished it twice in the opens in the last three years, Table Rock, and that's a place that's just been a thorn in my side. I mean, it's, it's, it's enormous. It's like 38,000 miles of shoreline in that place. Super deep, super clear water. All three species, smallmouth, largemouth, and spotted bass play in that place. Fall transition is the toughest time of the year to fish anywhere, and especially in those deep, clear water lakes. But some of your fans, is mm -hmm. people that watch you grow up, and uh, you know, they were calling me and telling me, they were calling me most first about Caleb. Caleb's leading us the second day, you know, and, and uh, what, what, what sort of happened? You uh, know, uh, we, had, Caleb? we had some major fronts hit us, guys. I mean, we had the first day of the tournament, we called them okay, but it was a tough day. The second day, we had the front actually moving through. So we had bad weather, it was cold, it rained all day. It was absolutely miserable. And the fish actually ate pretty good that second day, and Caleb was leading it. And now the front came in and Saturday, championship Saturday, Caleb was leading it. And along with Tyler Rivette was up there in the top three as well. Um, I was sitting in, I think, seventh going into that last day. And high, that high pressure really knocked him in the head. And it put those fish super, super deep. 
And in deep, clear water lakes like Table Rock, um, that time of the year, the thermocline starts to disappear. And when that disappears, those fish can go super deep. So that high pressure really punched them in the mouth. And, uh, and I think it changed a lot of what Caleb was doing. And, I, and Caleb is, is, is a fantastic angler, and he, he, he and I know he scrambled and did everything he could on that final day. But that that, that final day was was uh, was tough for a lot of people, not just Caleb and Tyler, um, but for a lot of guys up there. I was fortunate enough to my starting spot. I caught my first four on my first five casts of the morning, and it quit. And I didn't put my fifth keeper in the boat till 30 minutes before weigh in, which that fish solidified my classic berth for sure. Now. Talking about the apple don't fall too far from the tree. Mm -hmm. The acorn don't fall from the tree. It all depends on whether you're a deer hunter or what. But let, let me right. ask you this. Mm -hmm. You know, your daddy, you followed your daddy's example. You got a 15-year-old son. I do. Braxton. You know, well, coming up in the report, the high school bass fishing right now is going crazy. Isn't it? So it, it's getting good. It gets sponsors getting on TV more and more. Bassmasters know the same thing. Yes, sir. Not only the college series, but the, mm -hmm. the high school series. So anything else you got to tell me? Or what we else want to talk about? Well, I need to say thank you to my partners. Like I said, my partners in the business end of it is what makes the world go for me. Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital, right here in Baton Rouge, a regional hospital. I'm sure most of you watching probably know what's going on right now, is they're building a brand new freestanding children's hospital right now. You should see it right there off of Blue Bonnet. It's, it's incredible. John Paul's everywhere. John Paul is the man. He, he, he is my good friend and uh, has been a great supporter of me. But those people uh, in that I place. I interviewed him in Slow Fest, and that's yeah. another one that's a big supporter. He absolutely what else is. You got? Man, Vivid Ink, Vivid Ink Graphics uh, right here in Baton Rouge. If you see my boat and truck rolling around in Baton Rouge area those guys are absolutely incredible missile baits John Cruz I mean I've won more money on his baits than anything trapper tackle the hooks yeah. if you guys haven't seen trapper tackle hooks now these things restrict movement and it just increases your hookup ratio okay. uh, I don't want so, these ain't my sponsors but they, we're gonna give them a chance that's right because they pay the bill for him and that, that these are people who support me and serve pro of south baton rouge right here anytime you need fire water damage any type of that restoration these guys jeff and wilbur that own well, two, two franchises good blake too. betts is absolutely yeah, a good fisherman um and jeff travels around with him a lot those guys are are just awesome and lawrence uh, electronics and c map with which is uh, which is really making a big push right now in the in the um, in the mapping industry for our uh, for our electronics and power pole and uh, man, great big announcement, Skeeter Boats. I'm going to be fishing for Skeeter and Yamaha next year. Um, and I also could have- yeah, Don't forget, they live right across the river, the Cajun Apple. That's yeah. right. And Ken, I was get, just getting to, to, to some of the best. And Mike Onkel and Toby over there at Cajun Outboards, guys, that those guys have helped me out, even though I'm 700 miles away in some of these events. So guys, if you're looking for a Skeeter, yeah. a Phoenix, a Bay Boat, a Saltwater Boat, you got to give those guys a call in Addis, Louisiana. Derek, mm -hmm. you know, one of the biggest events, you know, child being born, weddings and stuff, that's always a big event. One of the biggest events will be coming up, you know, next year in March. How you going, you know, in your mind and in your heart, how you going to prepare for one of the biggest events in your life? One day at a time. And luckily for the classic, and anyway, it's March, I believe, 15th, 16th, and 17th. Next year, Knoxville, Tennessee, the Tennessee River. You know, our days are actually planned for us. You know, it starts with the weekend before. We can scout Thursday, Friday, Saturday before the event. We have, no, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, they put us up there at the expo. It's an enormous expo. Um, I mean, there's, I think, 250,000 people that come through that expo. We have media days in there that we have to attend. We have meetings and banquets. We have a media day there that we have to set up and people that buy backstage passes and VIP passes and people that have media passes can come by and go through each individual angler's boat, ask questions, go through their stuff, look at everything. We have the dinner of champions at Wednesday night where, where the, the old champions that, that have all won the Bassmasters Classic show up and speak and, no, and man. What you gonna be doing to get ready between now and then? Oh my goodness, you know, right now it's just, it, it's solidifying all of my partners for next year. It's getting a calendar and a game plan because it's not just fishing for me. It's not just fishing the actual elite events and the classic, it's, it's uh, making sure that I'm bringing value to my partners and, and getting all that set up now and getting my whole 2019 calendar set up. What about you talking about your partners, but mm -hmm. 
you know, with the internet now, with yes. everything, you know, yes. people all weekend, them guys were calling me, we're watching the weigh-ins and everything. Mm -hmm. it, well, how are you going to find out more information? Have you ever fished Tennessee River? I never have. And, you know, in the new Elite Series I rule, have. And okay. have you? Well, you can't tell me about it. So, you know, the, the, the new Elite Series rules is I can't have any outside information. Now, anything that's on the Internet is public knowledge. Now, I can search YouTube and I can watch videos and look up reports and old tournaments and out of there, but I can't get any information from somebody who has knowledge of that place. So. You know, there's going to be a lot of hours spent on YouTube and searching the internet for any type of reports from that place from that time of the year. And that goes with, with, with all nine Elite Series events and not just the Classic. But, yeah, I have a lot of homework to do myself. I, I never forget, I fished Lake City in the near. Mm -hmm. and all the big timers over there, you know, Bill Dance and, and all, all the big ones. You know, right. Roland Martin and right. the Murrays and mm -hmm. the, all, all of them. Mm -hmm. You know, I was hanging around there. And you know I'm a talker. You know, but every time we'd go uh, to a Walmart and there'd be a dance would be there and we'd be with them and watching them. You know, how many people would come up to him and give him information? I right. Mean, oh, yeah. Can't do that anymore. You know, we yeah. got, I know, but, but uh, I mean, right. what he can do? Say, shut up, I can't hear it, but right. I don't know where he took it, but they would come and say, you know what, so and so, and, and you know, he's such a swell guy, and, and they, they ain't never got That's right. cheap. And speaking but, of uh, old timers, you know, 1989. My dad and I were sitting on the couch and I watched Hank Parker hold up that wooden trophy of the Bassmasters Classic and I've never forgotten that moment. How many times you watched Hank Parker's show after that? A lot. And you know what? You know what's weird about it? Is I have seen Hank Parker on many of occasions through iCast and events and stuff like that and I still haven't got it in myself to go up to him and meet him and talk to him. Uh, it's I'm just Bill a, yeah. Bill Dance I get butterflies. Coming. Bill Dance is on the saltwater stream. He comes to that tow field all the time. And, and I talked to Bill Dance not long ago, actually. Yeah. He actually designed Lake Okissa, that's just north of here. And I talked to him at ICAST last year, and he put his arm around me and he said, Derek, how is Okissa doing? And I told him, great fishery up there. But yeah, I got he's a great some, man. So I got some little pictures with me and Bill Dance, and uh, I still sing his song in the boat. You yeah. Get in. Jack the Polar, <laughs> rest his soul. That's right. He said, when the sun came up this morning, uh -huh. huh? That's right. I took the time to watch it rise. And as his beauty struck the darkness from the sky. Talk to me. I thought how small and unimportant <laughs> all my troubles seemed to be. Oh, how lucky another day belongs to me. I know it's a Bill Dance. That's Jerry Reed song. And, you know, I couldn't. That, Jerry Reed sold all the stuff and we can't get a copy. Bill couldn't even get me a copy. Mm. Hey, stay tuned, we'll be right back. I can't imagine a day without music. You go downtown, you can find some music. You come uptown, you can find some music. Monday night, they got music. Every night of the week, there's music somewhere. Baton Rouge is a place where it's easy to make friends. It's easy to hear some music, and it's easy to come back. We got the music, we got the food, and we got good people. So with that combination, you can't lose, right? Yeah, but come to Louisiana. Hey, we've been fishing together for years as you watch the show, but I got my captain's license. I'm ready to take you out to share the kind of experience that I grew up with my family having. Give me a holler, ChefKD.com. Don't tell nobody, but we gonna cook and eat pretty good on board. See you soon. Well, the reason why I would recommend him because he's trustworthy. And I mean, attention and love and respect of who you are, what you are, and the purpose why you came, he honors that. Once you're with Murphy, you got a friend. This is Don Dubuque asking you to join me as a member of the Coastal Conservation Association. For 30 years, CCA has worked in Louisiana to conserve our incredible fisheries, making sure that our fishing is great today and for generations to come, whether looking out for redfish and specks, eliminating gill nets, building reefs across the coast, or work at the state capitol and in D.C., CCA is doing what's best for the fish and the sport we love so much. Your $30 membership will ensure that this work and our great fishing endures well into the future. Go to CCALouisiana.com and join CCA today. One of the biggest CCA events we talk about every year is the barbecue or the wars night. CCA Star Banquet, Live Oak Williams, Phil Willis always there and donating there. And, and, and let me tell you what, uh, it was packed. Everything was early, food was good. That's good. Oh, catering Cajuns are still putting it out, buddy. I uh, was there, and uh, 
Chris got there a little early. Interview some of the winners and the kids. It's, it's, it's just to see how these people, what they do and what they put out. And it's still a, it works as a fundraiser. You mm -hmm. all see the events that we're going, you know, people fishing trips around the world, hunting trips. It's just a great night and it's a, an award night. And that's what it's supposed to be. But a, a great year CCA has. And uh, we'll get out to the news report. We got some bull banquets coming up too. So let's make a visit to Live Oak Arabians and Jefferson CCA Star Banquet. I called a redfish last year and I wasn't entering. My dad was gonna enter me in it the night before, but he forgot to. And I caught one that day. I went up to the house and I was like, Dad, I got one and he started freaking out. Well, this year, and I had two people on the inside, so I went to the outside, and my dad pulled up, and I was catching like a lot of redfish, and I cast him whenever he got out of the truck, and I caught the tag redfish. Hi, my name's Gary Kendler, and I love CCA. Uh, this past summer, thankfully, speckled trout weren't biting very well, so we decided to go and see if we can catch a few redfish. Uh, after a short stint, it was north of Grand Isle on Raccoon Bay, and uh, I snagged a nice redfish, threw it in the boat. Unfortunately, it didn't even know it had a tag at the moment. We unhooked it. When I went to put it in the ice chest, flipped it over, and was like, oh my God, I think I have one. The, story, uh, the real punch to this story is we caught one four years earlier. My wife caught one four years earlier, and we weren't registered. So this was uh, not supposed to happen again. Everybody told me, don't ever register. You'll never do it again. But I did, and here we are. Nice, fine boat. I love it. Great. Thank you. Well, it was really um, n nothing special. It was uh, during the Catholic High Rodeo, and I was fishing with my grandson, Charles Gordon, and with my good friend, Tony Bruce. And uh, truthfully, we got on a real good trout bite, and um, any one of the three of us could have caught the fish that I caught. We had, uh, we had a real good stringer. I just happened to catch one that was big enough to, um, you know, win the win the star tournament. Went out of Baptiste Colette, which I never fished on Saturday, and we ended up um, we ended up catching 43 trout that Saturday morning, and we had five that went 28 pounds. It was like it was the best day of the summer, and we didn't even come close to the rest of the summer. It was actually a trip with my with my boss. Uh, we fished with a group of customers. And uh, we fished mangroves and lemon fish, and we had two lemon fish that day. And it just so happened they had one that came up, and the captain screamed, "Hey, lemon fish on the port side!" So I looked behind me, and they had a rod with a with a jig. So I grabbed it and I caught it. And it, uh, it, we knew it was a big fish. And when we got back to the dock, I went and weighed it in, and it was you know, 56.7. So I was I was pumped up because I knew it was the first place. And but it was the second week of June, so the, the tournament had only been going on for two weeks. So I said, no way it's going to hold, and, and doubt it did. <laughs> so. No, I've been fishing this uh, CCA tournament for years, but never really uh, knew what we would win. I never paid that much attention to it. The first two fish caught in the boat was a uh, nice sized fish, and the third one that I, we caught in the boat was a, the tag fish, but it was a small one, and I just tugged it in the boat like it was a trout, and when it was seen it on the bottom of the boat, it had a tag in it. Then I didn't know what to do next. We had to get on the phone and start Googling and trying to see where we went from there. And um, that's when we found out we wanted a truck and we had to go register our fish. My name is Cyrus Sloan Jr. and I just won this boat. Yeah, so uh, we were red fishing uh, near some uh, a water structure and uh, we were catching redfish. And suddenly Cy was in the front of the boat reeling in a fish and I'm thinking it was a redfish, right, coming in. And uh, he suddenly says, Dad, it's a yellow mouth. And I freaked out. I'm like, really, a trout? So man, I grabbed a net, get him up in the boat, and uh, man, I bought a four pound trout. So quite exciting, right? We were both kind of freaking out. My name is Marin Field, and I won this boat in the CCA Star Tournament. Marin caught this fish, two pound trout, and we want to register for the star. It's a rainy Sunday afternoon. And the only place I could find is like the Wrigley's to go weigh and measure this fish. So we go in there, Marin does all the paperwork, everything she needs to do, fills it out, 
justifies it, everything's good. Then when Rad calls me and tells me we won, he said I could have emailed a picture in. But anyhow, Marin is one more cast, one more shrimp, the fish is coming. Well, I was having a bad day, but then, like, I, we weren't catching any fish, and then I cast it out, and I waited a long time, and then the fish got on it, and we got it in, and it, it just made me really happy. My name is Ethan, and I won this boat by fishing the CCA Star Tournament. The first place I'll go fishing in this boat is probably going to be Beulah Lake. It was just uh, a regular day. We went to Grand Isle for vacation, and uh, we went on the beach and, and got ourselves into a, a mess of trout, and I put a little pop cork on there for him, and he threw it out there, and as soon as it went under, I told him, I said, reel, reel, and he started reeling, and he started getting hossing it a little bit. I told him, I said, easy, easy, and he brought it, he walked it all the way up to the bank and put it up on the beach, and he was ready to go. He loved it, and it, he wasn't going to touch it at first because he said it's got teeth on it. I said, I said, don't worry, I'll hold it so he can take your picture. But it, he loved it, and now he's hooked. <laughs> the best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave in crushed or cubed ice. Nothing stays cold longer, so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice-cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. Welcome to LSU, the DU Banquet, one of the most enjoyable DU Banquets you would find in the, in the country right now. And to believe these young people that are spreading the word about conservation and everything. Uh, tell me your name, where are you from? I'm Colette Pantini, I'm from Dallas, Texas. And yep. you are student leader and co-chair? Yes, sir. And your name? I'm Gunther Spore, I'm from Houston, Texas, and I am also a co-chair. What made y'all get you, you hunt from where you're from? Uh, yeah, I do a little bit of hunting, but my dad uh, also got me involved with Ducks Unlimited at a very young age. And so I uh, have always been involved with the West Houston chapter growing up. And then when I got to LSU, I was looking to get involved in a extracurricular activity. And so uh, I decided to do the Tiger chapter, and here I am. You're a Tiger fan now, yeah, all the way? <laughs> yes, sir, all the way. You know, you don't have trouble recruiting people because you know Louisiana's a big outdoor. That, you know what, Louisiana Sportsman's Paradise. That's yeah. what we call ourselves. And what about you? You're a young lady. We always pushing ladies, yes, women in the outdoors. Yes. You come up hunting and fishing? No, actually, I grew up in a family that didn't really hunt and fish at all, but um, I'm a student in the School of Renewable Natural Resources, um, studying natural resource management. So a lot of my professors hunt and fish, and their passion for Ducks Unlimited really got me interested in it. So I came to a meeting one day, um, fell in love with the type of people that DU attracts, um, and they're really my best friends to this day. And so um, the whole environment kind of got me started. But um, through this, I've actually been able to go on my first duck hunt ever, which was so cool. And now teal hunt, duck yeah, hunt last year, or what? It was a duck hunt last year, and then this year I got to go on a teal hunt. So I'm all in now. It's so fun. Can you get me invited? To, I am <laughs> missing my teal yeah, hunt. Next too. time, you and I. You know, loop aboard. He does a great job. Yes, he sir. must do a great job recruiting. Y'all yes. did a great job. Thank y'all for letting Thank us you be so here. Much. Thanks, Sam Barbera. And by the way, if y'all want to know anything, Sam Barbera is with the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Foundation. Yes, sir. And they sponsor all kinds of projects. So if you got a good project and what you're trying to do in your curriculum, you get in touch with Sam Barbera. Yes, sir. Thank you again, Sam. You're watching Thank Paradise, you. Louisiana. 
This is LSU. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Come on, Ducks. Pa's moving in storage. We just sold our house. Congratulations. We have two weeks to move. We'll deliver a few containers. Our new home's not ready. No problem. You can store things with us while you're between homes. We might need help. We'll refer trusted packers. We'll be staying at my brother's. Well, that sounds... He has kids of his own. Well... Five of them. Ma'am? Help. Trust us for local and long-distance moving and store at our storage centers. Pods moving in storage solved. Well, the reason why I would recommend him because he's trustworthy. And I mean, attention and love and respect of who you are, what you are, and the purpose why you came, he honors that. Once you're with Murphy, you got a friend. So what are you going to do with the special trials? That's right. There's just no doubt about it that this is a place where food is created differently from anywhere else in the world because it just couldn't happen anywhere else. We're a culture made up of so many different people, love of ingredients, love of cooking styles, and they're all right here. At the end of the day, that's all Baton Rouge. Benny's Unlimited Wash Club memberships start at $14.99 a month. Wash, rinse, and repeat every day. Join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club at one of Benny's seven locations. What am I using? Our TKO Shrimp Creole Color from MajorShed.com. Alright, during this time of year, going from that September, October period of time, it's known as transition time. And the fish are going to move around a lot, and what keeps them moving and what they're going to stay on is the white shrimp. That is the absolute key to where the speckled trout are going to be located at. And wherever the white shrimp are, a lot of times that's where the seagulls are going to be diving and they'll tell the tale of where the fish are at. So when we pull up to an area and maybe see a few shrimp jumping or some seagulls diving, even if it's 8, 10, 15 foot of water, we still like to use popping corks. And the reason you use the popping corks, the matrix floats, or whatever cork you really like, is because it, sound, it makes the sound of a shrimp jumping out the water. Whatever you have underneath is up to you. We were using matrix sheds and the uh, TKO shrimp today. And just by having that sound of the cork is really the key. Now today's particular day, we were coming right off the back end of Hurricane Michael which was devastating to the panhandle and even created a storm surge here. And it was our first day of getting some northerly winds in a, quite a long time, which creates colder temperatures, obviously. First day wearing a, a jacket or a sweatshirt all day. And that created an incredible falling tide all day, pulling a lot of shrimp out of the marsh. With, and they got all balled up on top of trout and underneath seagulls diving. And that was the ticket. So. Let's, let me go ahead and send you back to watching some of the clips from this morning of catching fish just about every cast.
mouth the whole time. Keeper! Got you one, double trouble. Well now you know, as soon as the first few cold fronts start hitting in the month of October, it's time to look for the birds and catch beautiful speckled trout like these right here. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dockside TV. Catch a nice trout under the popping corks using the matrix shed. Whoa! And the TKO shrimp creole color. Until next time, good fishing. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, get that. I'm John Jackson, and you know we always say we gather our groceries out the bayou. Whether it's freshwater, saltwater, catfish, redfish, you have tons of choices when it comes to fish in Louisiana. But when I fry fish, there's only one choice, and that's Louisiana fish fry. My new favorite, the Cajun fish fry, has the perfect amount of cornmeal, corn flour, and the perfect mix of spices that really bring the heat. Hey, if you're craving Cajun, go look for the bright red bag at your local grocers. Bring home the taste of Louisiana with Louisiana Fish Fry. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what our goal was to give a quality job to a homeowner. Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy planker siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. We're gonna show up on time, we're gonna do the job right. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. We believe you deserve a quality job. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and our rodeo and tournament report. Well, we just gave you a big report at, at, at the open there, and it was great. Some of them guys you mentioned that are just, just amazing. You know they come from everywhere we got pulled. I, I want you to know how much we're going to be pulling for you and Caleb and all the rest of y'all guys fishing. Couldn't do without local support. I'm telling you what, you got it. Now, talk about local support. One of the first tournaments, we always wait, and he came in a little late with it, so... But I got to talk about my friends over there at the Junior Southwest Bassmasters, Cindy and, and, and Mr. Bro. Y'all awesome did a tremendous people. job, huh? Awesome people, huh? Oh, yeah, they're doing that, you know. And the, and the state tournaments are now, they got, they got a state tournament. Uh, mm -hmm. They got a qualifier coming up in Manshack. That's right. This coming Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, you you got to still, they, they broke it up in two divisions now. You know, they got a West Division and an East Division. And they're going to have three tournaments and then a state championship so right right by the way stay tuned and look look up on your your schedules for tv pelican sports tv are going to be covering the high schools in the east in the east zone mm -hmm. this year so keep looking up and and thank all the sponsors that are doing it the tournament they had at toledo bend this past week mm -hmm. weekend uh i guess the win was pretty good saturday but i don't know what happened to it on on the, on the second day but that same front that hit us hit them and that high pressure sat in and made it really tough for them. I, I guess it did, boy, mm -hmm. but uh, these kids are amazing right now. Uh, in a 15 to 18 year old age group, kind of rushing, won it with 19.7 full pounds. That's 10 fish now, My man. by the way, and it was a two day tournament. A second was Trace Day, another little boy I practically almost raised right there, coming out of uh, Central in, in Denham Springs. Uh, he had 16.39, 10 bass. Mm -hmm. And third was Caden Riley with 9.87 and six bass. Big bass was kind of rushing. In 11.14, first place was Zach Henderson with 13.51, seven bass. Second place was Jackson Landry with 10.55, four bass. Third was Gag Collins with 
uh, 6.73. Big Fish was uh, Jackson Landry with uh, 9.26. 4. Uh, 4.26. We do what? 4.26. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I see my own right. Thank you, That's buddy. okay, man. You got good eyes. You I'm looking out fish. for you. Look, uh, 7 to 10. First was Jack Bonado with 8.61. Uh, six bass. Second was Caden Sellers with mm -hmm. 7.21. He had four bass. Third was Blake Leroy. Uh, big fish was Jack Bonado with 232. And uh, the top that uh, add up was Larry Russian with 19.74 10 bass. Big mm -hmm. fish was Ryan Abath with 3.57. Mm -hmm. So the 14 year old had the biggest fish at four, at four point. Where's four point? Two six. Uh, four, there it is. Mm -hmm. 4.26. So yeah. We're getting pretty good, good fishing, y'all. What a great deal. Thanks for keeping in touch. And don't forget, look at Pelican Sport TV and you'll start seeing these, these kids when they're doing with the high school qualifying coming up. And Mr. Hoover, we've done a great job doing that. Indeed. Uh, most, another thing we got coming up in the, in the news events, when we got different one. Uh, the final event for the Lafayette Kayak Fishing Club, November 3rd out of Sippermore Point, State Park. You got to remember the State Parks, that's one of our big sponsors. You know, it's Absolutely. a good one. So it's called a Turkey trout, trout Throwdown. It's determined the angle of the year. They got five speckled trout and get the biggest five speckled trout weighed. And then they give a, uh, they pull out a big cast pot for the heaviest trout. Uh, you got you to gotta look at this picture. Somebody sent me in again. Another one of these sunset at the park, at the point, and it's by Don, Don Moe, Sr. Uh, I'm at, uh, now we got a bunch of dates coming up. All right. Now I want you to help me. You read behind me, so I won't do it. You talk gotcha. better than me, too. I got gotcha. you. You know, but uh, October 26th is Chaffalai Chapter Quails Forever Banquet. That's at Bridgeview Gun Club. That's on Northwest Drive in Port Allen, off of LA-1. You can call John Balance, 225-266-1953. October 30th, also Point Compete DU, Scott Civic Center. October 30th, CCA South Lafouche. November 1st, CCA Slidell Chapter. I'm good chance I might be there. And then November 7th, at Delta Waterfowl, they're big one at the birds. Big, big, big one. Delta Waterfowl, the birds starting at 6 o'clock. See if we're forgetting anything else. I got it all, huh? You thinking anything? You got any events you want to tell them? Uh, by the way, when the hospital? Say it again. When's the hospital scheduled to be finished? I, the I fall of 2019. Yeah. So How about that? Coming up. It's moving on. Though. How about that? It, it broke ground and everything, huh? Man, it's rolling. It's rolling? I'll tell you what. We're going to have to go look. I'm going to encourage John Paul. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be back with uh, Abu. Berkeley Abu Garcia Fish. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter, home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. Well, the reason why I would recommend him because he's trustworthy. And I mean, attention and love and respect of who you are, what you are, and the purpose why you came, he honors that. Once you're with Murphy, you got a friend. Hey, y'all, it's Sam Barbera. I'm with the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Foundation. The foundation is a nonprofit that raises funds and provides support for the Louisiana Wildlife and Fisheries Department. We assist with numerous projects like black bear, whooping crane, bald eagle, as well as family, youth, and women's workshops. For all of the information on the foundation, visit laWff.org. We need your support to help our wildlife and fisheries. Visit laWff.org. In Louisiana, our state parks are the perfect family destination. With nearly 180 miles of trails through park grounds and historic sites, you can endlessly explore nature, try some kayaking or world-class fishing, then find the perfect campsite or settle into a cozy cabin. 
Louisiana is calling, and she's using her outside voice. Plan your escape today at www.lastateparks.com. Welcome back to Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. And we talk about fishing report, and you need any bait, you're going to forget some pure bait and tackle. They got everything, and if they don't have it, they order it. You look on that back table, you see names that they order for, for That's special right. people. They take and, care uh, of them. And, and by the way, those, those shoes I told you to go get them out, they're mm. better than the Crocs anyway. I got them on. I got them on the counter. Uh, they're going to quit making them, so they still got a good supply, so you better come by here and get you some good boat shoes. Don't slip at all. Now, guess what? Lake Catherine. I'm going to start off with fresh water, and I'm going to, I mean, the salt, salt water. water. I'm going to leave you with the fresh water. Lake Catherine. Tell us Mr. about Andrew it. Mr. Stewart, the Island Marina, sent me another good report. I happen to be down there and talk with some of them guys. Right now, I'm going to mention some places, so you put it in your mind. If you know that area, we're good. Catherine's Path, Miller Ditch, Deep Water, Unknown Pass. These are people. West Pearl. When I say the West Pearl, all my local guides and the people that were fishing around there and my buddy, Ken Lambert, they were all fishing the West Pearl. They must have had 10, 15 boats. A lot of the guys are always fishing out mm -hmm. there. And this is what they're doing. They're fishing in the lake. They're catching a smorgasbord of, of fish. You know, they're catching white trout. They're catching speckled trout. Red fish are everywhere. Again, they're fishing. Fishing the trout, they're fishing, they're fishing deep drop-offs, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and they're using drop shot. Or they get up in the bank, them fish are moving in, they got grass, and they're fishing on the cork, they're fishing live shrimp. It's that time of the year. They're using uh, matrix shad, Dudley's using his own baits, and uh, they're catching. They're catching a lot of them and on, on sparkle beetles. They say sparkle beetles, but they're fishing them under cork, and they're getting the shrimp colors and some with a little sparkle in them. When mm -hmm. they get wore out, if they're getting a lot of bites, especially with the white trout, they're taking them off. They still want the little, that little sparkle in. Mm -hmm. I guess it's infidescent what they're doing. Uh, she got some fishes she's sending me. Uh, they got a grandbaby and all them in the water. And some of those captains I'm going to mention, you know, they got Captain Jim Lamarck, Mike Gallo, Dudley Vanderboer, and my, my friend Ken Lambert been keeping me up what's going on. Clint DeArmas, by the way, fishes that area, but I saw him in Hopedale when I was fishing with them girls. They were fishing in points. And uh, Hopedale and the lagoons and uh -huh. stuff. I, I, look, I was at Hopedale. Before we go out, I, I, I made a little visit to the cleaning table and talked to some of those kids. And they had so many boats there. When I say so many boats, that morning when we got there, trying to mimic being in a tournament, they, they were lined up. Yeah. <laughs> they were lined up. That's awesome. And look, Pat Turner, one of the owners, and his son, and all the. They were bringing them in and out. You know, I, I don't know how long it was, but when we finally got in the water and we got everything we wanted and waiting, mm -hmm. uh, I, I must have seen a hundred some boats put in That's at the awesome. Hopedale Marina. And, and, and he was out there, people going in and getting coffee, you know. Uh -huh. And me, I was trying to look for something without sugar and eat another <laughs> biscuit. But I'm going to tell you what, they do a great job over there. I want to compliment. And thank Pat. My name's Connor, Connor Tran, um, and I'm from um, New Orleans, Louisiana. Where you go to school, Con? ISL. Let me see what you got. Well, a good day, look. Yeah. Got a box. You still got some of the bait in there. Yeah, we're going to save that. Kevin Juno. Rhonda Juno. Denim Spring, look. Tell me you got, got a lot of white trail. Where, where were y'all fishing today? Muscle Bay. Fishing, what? fishing a few little ponds back in there. What, what was the best bait? Uh, some live shrimp, matrix ass, shrimp creole. What color matrix? Shrimp creole. Shrimp creole, that's a good one. That's a good one. We got some groceries. Got, got a few yes, groceries. Sir. <laughs> Bringing it home, you're right across the river from yes, me. Sir. Another one of the captains that have been sending the good reports is Drake Marbon, you know, Island Marina. Uh, the Dulac, my old faithful, lots of catches. You know, be coming from there, uh, T. Irvins, John Bernard, sending me. By the way, happy anniversary. He sent me a picture of his wife, Stephanie, with her first redfish, 39 years. That's the secret of long marriage. She'll keep you around. You 
put her in a boat, take care of her. And feed don't her fish. Don't let her get too hot. Don't let her get too cold. That's right. Put them on fish. That's right. That's good. Do your wife fish with you? Every now and again. Yeah. But you know what? It's not her, really her thing. Her thing is more of just supporting me. So, love yeah. you, babe. That's good. By the way, what, yeah. what your wife has been in a, in, in, in the business, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, she used to be the lady I called when Keynes was mm -hmm. sponsor, and now she's a walk-on. She's a sure is. media person or whatever you call yeah. her. Director of Marketing for Raising Canes and Brandon Landry and, and Drew Brees. And, uh, man, fantastic company. She loves it. So I'm, you're going to put another good word in for me. I need, I need sponsors. I'll you do know. that. You, know, <laughs> you need partners. Need partners, that's what you call them. That's, that's right. right. That's, Absolutely. That's the truth. That's the Absolutely. truth. Uh, Lake Barrette. How about I some got, fresh water? I, I, I got one report. I'm going to turn it over to you. Because, All right. Uh, Lake Barrette, I got, I got word and I got a picture from KD. Mm -hmm. Send me that picture. Boy, I used to coach football. Uh, Kevin King, mm -hmm. he back catching them sackley and bass, and they right. had to catch them in Lake Barrette, beautiful. Uh -huh. I, I know he fished black and short truth, but I, 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 he didn't send me a report, but mm -hmm. uh, he sent me a picture. I usually don't take pictures unless they got a person in the picture, but I don't know if I get Kevin. He he get he got real big, but he's slimmed down now. He's he can still fish. catch him though. He's still catching fish. He can fish. still catch him. And then I I got another report. I'm gonna. You talk about Bob Black because I know a lot of tournaments can be coming from there. Bob Black and Catawachi, man. I tell you what, Catawachi may not be what it was years ago, but the vegetation is starting to come back there. And I've heard from several different people that the fish are starting to show up in that area from Catawachi and south, even into Lake Salvador. And the thing you've got to remember about this time of the year is this is the time of the year that those shad start to migrate up into the pockets. Off the, rain, off, off the main river channels. And this time of the year, it's important to find the shad. When you find the fish shad, you're gonna find the fish. Good time of the year for your spinner baits, your buzz baits, because the water's starting to cool down. The fish are gonna start moving shallower and they're gonna start chasing those top water baits. I mean, we're coming off of water temperatures in the mid 90s in South Louisiana. And we're finally getting that cool weather and those fish are gonna eat for you. Find the shad, square bill crank baits, spinner baits, a white buzz bait this time of the year. That, that's a go-to for myself. But uh, yeah, Bayou Black, you talk about that, Mike. Rest his soul, Mike Ravelo. That's right. Yeah, yeah, my good know. friend, Mike Ravelo, rest his soul mm -hmm. this time of year. He, ne he, never, he never took a white spinnerbait or a Lunkalo, back then, Lunkalo, but Benny Buzzbait. He never right. took it off right. his rod, especially early in the morning when we were around there. And then sometime middle of the day, he'd run around Cypress trees. Mm -hmm. in, in, in the, it's a way to catch a big one. Steve, to catch Steve Fontana. Oh yeah. You're talking about shed. Steve Fontana knows when he fished in Bell River area. That's right. He he looked for that shed spawn and he looks out and mm -hmm. winter time he got his special little spinner bait. That's right. And uh, that was a big me, crank you know bait what out I there used too. to do? What you used to do? I used to bob shallow running crank bait, mm -hmm. white shed color. Mm -hmm. And I throw up on trees and do it. And a lot of people catch them on jerk baits at That's this right. time of year Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Too. It's getting it. Cattle watch, I don't know where they come from. I talked to a bunch of people. They said they were catching numbers, mm -hmm. you know, and it's catching a few good fish coming back. But that's right. What are you what are you hearing about Salvador? I, I heard a guy call me and tell me the other day that the fish are biting in the north end of Salvador. North end of Salvador around grass. the passes on the northeast and northwest corner where the passes are coming in and you're gonna see there there's some grass mats out there. Yeah. And a lot of that area again, look for the shad. Look for the bait. You start seeing the flickering on top of the water and the bait. Um, you're gonna find the fish. We, we, we go over spill. We're gonna over go down. We're gonna catch some fish. I Man, it's the time of the year. You just don't know. I mean, it could be high until June of next year. We just don't know yet. But you know, the higher it stays, the longer, the better the spillway is gonna be off. Now, your rivers now out mm -hmm. in the east part, the Florida passes. That's right. It, the rain to get them up. They don't take them with two days, if you know, right? In the winter time. That's right. Tremendous time to fish bass and cyclone. Absolutely, especially in the Pearl River and below, even in the, um, um, even down further south below the lakes and into, um, into that uh, um, Bayou Bienvenue area. It'd yeah. be a really good time of the year for down there. I said it was going to be too long, but all in places. Toledo Bend. Yes. It's still hot. It's all you see, we got pictures coming around. You mm -hmm. call the tourism over there. That's right. Talk, call you a local guide. Uh, all these members, these places you want to go. Leeville, mm -hmm. Grand Isle, they've been to trout bite been loved. Uh, Dulac, mm -hmm. down in Homer, Cocodree, the fish on, redfish everywhere. 
fish and spinner bait. You see what we, and the girls, and then when they were fishing with them, they, they throw in a, a matrix shad, the claw they call it, the white one with the tail. That's right. It, you can say what it looked like. It could look like a shad, but I looked like a small crab to me. You mean they're ruling and they got the spin on it and That's they right. flutter and they slow it down. So well, as long as they eat it. They eat it. They eat That's it. That's all that matters. They eat it up. Uh, I said, I, I, I got a mother, y'all sent a report, still ain't got a whole lot from coming up in the north and some part of the state. So I guess I'm about to call them. They hunting. I talked to them. I don't blame them. I talked to Mike Clark and uh, he, he's out. They food plotting, they getting ready, they bow hunting, and they getting ready to gun hunt. So That's right. duck season coming up. Be ready. Don't forget to take a youth with you. Take them hunting, duck hunting, deer hunting, everything. We'll have more coming up next week. And I promise you, while we're getting ready, we'll bring you back on. Keep bringing in fishing reports. Will do. Good luck. Thank you for having me. Thank you. My pleasure. For coming up. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Taking it easy, Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance. Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company. Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change. Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Veterans Help Foundation, Relief Windows, Experience, Quality, Service, Catering Cajun, Creative Catering from Casual to Corporate, Visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience, Murphy Law Firm, Don't Be a Victim Twice, and by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament.